Stop 16 on the Casual GTX Cup Series brings us to Sonoma. It's the running of the Eric Medlin Casual Syntec 350K. The course is, so for some of you who don't know who Eric Medlin was, he was an NHRA funny car racer who um, whose home track was right here at Sonoma, as a matter of fact. Won, in fact, won the NHRA event here in 2006. Of course, uh, racing in memory of Medlin because of because uh, he was in, got killed in a testing crash at Gainesville, Florida. Back in 2007, so the place, so every year at Sonoma, we pay tribute to Eric Medlin with this event. So that said, here's your starting lineup: Kyle Matthews on the pole for today's event, and the Mel Yellow opponent still looking for his first win of the season. And he'll be alongside Mayonnaise, Charles Jackson, car number five, to Levi Garrett Chevrolet. Road two, the winner of this event in season number nine, I think. Yep, Jessica Shelton, the number nine Coors Light Ford, one of the road course aces in the series. She'll be alongside Henrietta Fitzwater in number 55, the Skull Crown Oldsmobile. Cole Daly has the inside run number three, and will be flanked by Sean Galligan, car 17, who almost pulled off the win at Michigan, but fell just a little bit short. Uh, Seth Cole has the, has the inside run number four, and he'll be alongside... Zachary Fitz, uh, he'll be alongside Preston Plore, car 18, the Interstate Batteries, Pontiac, or Chevrolet, rather, fail. A Pontiac is the inside runner number 5, is Zachary Fitzwater, car 30, and he'll be flanked by Grant Thomas, number 14, Copenhagen Oldsmobile. Then it's the defending race winner, Johnny Gardner, car number 11, the Budweiser Ford, and will be alongside Joshua Osborne, car 19, the Bullseye Barbecue Sauce Ford. And here comes, and here's your, and here comes the command to fire him up here at Sonoma. Drivers, start your engine. Get the party engines <coughs> as we get set for the start of the race at Sonoma, the second of three road course races. We were at Riverside <coughs> with Joshua Balkin getting his first ever career win there. As the pace car ducks off on the pit road, Kyle Matthews leading him down. He's looking for his first win of the season. Charles Jackson alongside, then Jessica Shelton and Henrietta Fitzwater in the second row. Gonna be an interesting first lap here today. As the green flag waves, as let's get ready for some wild and wacky road course racing. Green flag out, we're underway at Sonoma. 12 laps of distance here today at this twisty, turny, two mile track. It's Kyle Matthews jumping out in front. Charles Jackson is in second position. Jessica Shelton making taking third. Shelton off on the dirt just a little bit now as they go down as Charles Jackson giving chase down to Kyle Matthews. We've seen some drivers, we've seen some cars crash at this point on the track. Dalton Day going way high. Keith Batson right there. PJ Williams. Kyle Sosnowski. Doobie on the Rebel Shirts. Oh, Johnny Gardner's got problems. Looks like. Uh, back in, I'll bend up just a little bit. Yep, and we're under yellow. Darian Taylor has got some damage on his car. As it is Kyle Matthews leading him down. He'll be winning the race back to the start finish line. Let's check and see what happened on the on this crash here. I think I think Darian Taylor might have been in it. I'm not sure. It's, I know Charles Jackson, or, or rather, um, Johnny Gardner has him back. It, yeah, it was going is coming down into the fourth corner of this track here. P.J. Williams trying to make a move on the inside of Taylor. He got up in the rumble shirts. He gets loose and he clips Austin Talley's car. And on Taylor goes right into the tire barrier while trying to get his car back going. I don't know what that was all about for Darian Taylor, but and yet we had a dust up in turn seven. Johnny Johnny Gardner was alongside Joshua Collard in the four car. Oh, and Collard. 
he got he jumped at the curbing right there, and that and yeah, Kyle Matthew or, or Kyle Sosnowski hits Johnny Gardner and sends in a little synchronized spinning. Cars getting strewn all over the place. Wait, uh, Michael Norman bumps Sosnowski, and that caused William Duncan to bump into uh, Michael Norman. So pace cars lights are now off as we get set for green flag action. We'll be on lap number four. It is right now Kyle Matthews leading the race. Second is Charles Jackson. Third belongs now to Henrietta Fitzwater. Fourth is Preston Pl or fourth is Sean Galligan. Fifth, Preston Plort. Sixth is Jessica Shelton. Seventh right now is Grant Thomas. Eighth, Joshua Osborne. Ninth right now is Cole Daly. And in tenth is Arnold Columbia. Pace car looks up on the pit road as the green flag about to wave as we'll have nine laps remaining here at Sonoma. I told you it's going to be some wild and wacky road course racing and we're not lying yet. We're not lying right now I should say but it's not over yet. Kyle Matthews gets another good restart. He pulls away from Charles Jackson just a little bit. Sean Galligan getting off course a little. Preston Port right now running in fifth position in the 18 car. No messes just yet at this point, portion of the track. Look, oh, somebody kicking up a little dust. That's Dylan Young in the two car. And it was Zed Weinstein trading a little paint with Joshua Osborne. Osborne, apparently Osborne's got a little bit of damage to his car right now. On the number 19 car, he's got a little right in. He's got a little driver's side damage to his machine. As Kyle Matthews continues to lead the race here, Charles Jackson's in second position. Third still Fitzwater. Fourth still Plored. Shelton now takes fifth. Galligan's in sixth position. Seventh is Grant Thomas. And boy, Zed Weinstein's on, a, on the move. He's at the eighth position now as he gets past Joshua Osborne. And apparently Osborne's clean though. I thought I thought I saw a little bit of damage to the passenger side. Well, I think he's, he's, I think I still see some scrapes in fact on that car. The Weinstein restarted outside the top 10, and he's currently worked his way up to the field in 8th in the number 70 Rumpel Furniture Machine. Yeah, there's the scraped up the side on Osborne's car. He's in ninth place right now. And oh, Dylan Young and Charlie Rodriguez. Oh, and Rodriguez, he pushes Dylan Young, and he spins! Charlie Rodriguez just blatantly wrecked Dylan, wrecked Dylan Young. And Kev Shear almost sideswipes him. And a tough break for Dylan Young. As he apparently now is um, out of contention in this event. And boy, that was that was some hard battling between he and Charlie Rodriguez in the 75. I think Dylan Young, I don't think, is pleased with that one. They got down to the S as a part of the track there. Dylan Young, he jumped up apron just a little bit. He hits Rodriguez, and then Rodriguez just drives away. Says, get out of my way, Dylan. And boy, did he ever. Young, hard in the tire barrier. Joshua Collard and Keith Batts and Zachary Fitzwater. A lot of, everybody about misses Dylan Young. I, I thought I was waiting for Young to get slammed. 
in the back end or have the driver's side door ripped off, but... Yeah, Poteet misses him. Darian Taylor, D William Duncan misses him. They see a, a ripped off front end on the Michael Norman machine. And Kev Shear did a little off-roading. So Dylan Young, no secret, is out of the event. Pace car's lights are off here, so right now Kyle Matthews possibly on the verge of, of um, breaking a long windless drought that's stretched back to stretches back a couple seasons. Charles Jackson, he won last season in the Brickyard, he's in second position. Third still Fitzwater, Henry out of Fitzwater that is. Preston Plort in fourth position, fifth is Jessica Shelton. As the green flag waves, we're back underway at Sonoma. Five laps to go. Charles Jackson all over the back bumper. He, be he better pour on the mayonnaise if he hopes to win his first road course race in his career in the Castle GTX Cup Series. He's within striking distance of Kyle Matthews at the moment. And oh, 75 is sideways into the tire barrier. He goes in and out of turn four. And yep, yellow flag is waves again for the 75 car. Let's look as to what happened as the yellow flag flies once again. Yeah, Arnold Columbia, he goes by Charlie Rodriguez right here, it looks like, and then Seth Cole. Yeah, Rodriguez hits the gets loose and hits the rumble strip when he hits rumble strips. And so too does Seth Cole. Both of them got loose at the same time as they hit the rumble strips. And Rodriguez uh, bumping Seth Cole saying, Go on, Seth. Go on, Seth. <laughs> I don't see how that could have caused the yellow flag, though. I really don't. Oh, but at any rate, pace cars lights again are off as we're going to set for green flag racing. We'll have two laps to go. See if we can get all two of them running under green. Kyle Matthews has been the dominant car the whole day so far at Sonoma. But Charles Jackson, Henry and Fitzwater, Preston Plore, Jessica Shelton, they all got something to say about this. As we get set for green flag racing, let's hope that uh, Matt, Matthews hopes that he gets a better restart this time than he did the last time. Because Charles Jackson shot up in the back bumper as they, go up in, as they went up the hill. So here we go. The green flag waves are back underway. Two laps to go to Sonoma. <laughs> Jackson looks high. He now he tries to look low. Henry and Fitzwater now goes on running underneath. Charles Jackson now for position. And oh, Matthews, let's see what happens coming out of the turn. Kyle Matthews again tries to pull away as they go down to the downhill part of the track. Well, Charles Jackson, he better not, he didn't, he don't, he, don't, he probably don't say he didn't try, but. Battling going on right here, Jessica Shelton and Preston Plord going at it for the fourth position. Sean Galligan as well. And the yellow flag is waved once again. Big shock. It's Zachary Fitzwater. He's crashed this time. 
And so it'll be the yellow and white flags waving. Let's see who, who gets the win coming back to the start finish line. It looks like it's going to be Kyle Matthews in car 42. And yes, it will. Kyle Matthews will take the yellow and white flags. He will win today at Sonoma. Charles Jackson will come home second, third to Fitzwater, fourth to Bresson Board, fifth to Jessica Shelton. Henry and Fitzwater, I should say, comes home in, fourth, in third position. Zachary Fitzwater is the one who crashed. And there he is. That was the battle for 10 position. It was he and Joshua Osborne that started uh, battling a little bit there. Trent Gunnam was right behind. Fitzwater, he gets the he gets the curve, he gets the rebel strips and he hits Osborne. Osborne hits him back. Oh my gosh, a hard hit for Fitzwater. I say he and Joshua Osborne's gonna have a fight in the garage area over this one. That was a hard hit, definitely, for Zachary Fitzwater. He is going to be one of the... Well, yeah, he's now one of the four cars out of the race, so, so Fitzwater will finish in 35th. Dylan Young, 36th. Chris Dalton, 37th. And Cole Daly, who still is bad luck, continues. He, start, he finishes last. But the Ellen Checker flag's about to wave at Sonoma, and it's going to be this man, Kyle Matthews, Finally coming back to victory lane. He got so close at Michigan. And this time not to be denied at Sonoma. As he gets his first road course. As he gets actually his second road course when he won at Watkins Glen. And there he is. Number 42. The Mellow Yellow Pontiac. Kyle Matthews for Sapco Racing. Wins at Sonoma. What the heck? What's up with the pace car? I think the pace car driver's on drugs. I don't know. Well, it looks like Pontiac's gonna be buying themselves another pace car for Sonoma for next for probably season thirteen. I don't know. Oh, what the? That's. Yeah, he's still stuck in a wall. No. <laughs> Average speed, 61.442 miles an hour. Charles Jackson comes home second position. Henry of Fitzwater will finish third. Preston Ford comes home in fourth. Jessica Shelton will finish fifth. And it seems like every time Shelton runs, comes into the, the road course races, she usually runs well, so she's... We'll keep the points in for that one. Sean Galgan comes home sixth. Seventh is Grant Thomas. Eighth is Zed Weinstein. Ninth, Trent Dunham. Tenth is Stephanie Neuer. Eleventh, Keith Batson. Joshua Balkin, he may not get the road course sweep, but he'll finish 12th. Uh, Jordan Newman, Joshua Collard, another good road racer himself. In 14th, Arnold Columbia, PJ Williams, Brian Judge, Seth Cole, Charlie Rodriguez, and Joshua Osborne will finish 20th after his, after a little dust up between he and Zachary Fitzwater. Let's say Osborne and Fitzwater's gonna have a little fight in the garage area. I don't know. That's that's that was a Yeah. And let's see where the rest of the finishers finish here today as um, the second road course race is history here at Sonoma, California. And it's this man, Kyle Matthews, back to victory lane in number 42 million yellow pony because he takes home the title at Sonoma as we head to Kentucky Speedway next for the Quaker State 400. Jessica Shelton keeps the lead in the, in, here in the points. Brian Judge, Sean Galligan, Dylan Poti is fourth right now. Keith Batson's in fifth. Then it's Kyle Matthews, William Duncan, Trent Dunham, and Johnny Gardner, and Jeremy Doobie, the top ten. Joshua Osborne drops down to the 20th position. Joshua Collard up to the four, uh, the 19, in the 19th spot. And there's the rest of the order right now as we hit this Kentucky Speedway. Next for the running of uh, the Quaker State 400. Don't miss it.